Hello everyone. So in this video, I will do problem 8.16 uh, from unit 8, which is one of the uh, questions that we had in our homework 5. So what we have to do in this question is that we have a midterm expansion of a function f, as you can see here. So uh, for this function, the question asked us to find two and or circuit. So what they ask us is two different and or circuits okay and then it asks us to find um, the hazard for each of these two and then at the end we have to get rid of the hazard for function f okay so what we have to do the first thing is if we want to find different configurations for a function different realizations for a function you know that we have to draw the Carnot map for that function so let's just fill in these Carnot maps for um, function f so I'm uh, drawing I'm actually filling in two of these Carnot maps first because the question asked us to find two um, and or circuits okay two different and or circuits so if I fill in this Carnot map using the midterm expansion that we have up there here is the Carnot map that we have all the ones and then the same thing for this map over here all right so how can I find different realizations for one function we know that if we map the ones inside the function inside the Carnot map differently so if I loop them in different um, configurations I'm going to get two different um, realizations for my function f so the first one that I would do is I'm going to map these ones these ones and then I will do these two and these two so this is one way to map um, all the ones that I have in this function so this is loop number one loop number two loop number three and loop number four okay so I will write the realization of this function so f is equal to for loop number one you can see that we have b prime c prime d prime for loop number two we have a c prime for loop number three we're going to have b d and for loop number four we're going to have a prime c d prime right so we have four different terms and then now we want to find the hazard here in this circuit so we know that when does the hazard happen so the hazard happens the one hazard happens when two adjacent ones are not being covered by the same loop for example in this Carnot map you can see that there are two adjacent ones one of them is here right the other one is here these two are not being covered by the same loop so these two can cause a hazard and how are we representing that we are saying that 0 1 1 1 which is representing the upper one okay into the second one is zero one one zero this is one of my hazards right and the other hazard i'm gonna um, draw it with another color so i have to look and see if i can find any other hazard so can we see any other hazards yes you can see because these two ones are adjacent ones and they are not being covered by the same loop so they're causing a one hazard right so the upper one is zero 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 and the lower one is zero zero one zero okay so this is one realization of the function and the hazards that happens there now we go to the second corner map and we want to realize the function differently so this time I'm going to loop or group the ones differently so I'm going to group these I'm going to group these so however way that you're comfortable with you can do it okay and this one so these two and this one 
So this is different than the first one, right? So this is loop number one, loop number two, loop number three, and this is loop number four. So here, F is equal to loop number one is A, C prime. Loop number two is B, D. Loop number three, we're going to have A prime, B, C. And loop number four is A prime, B prime, C. Oh, I did a mistake here. A prime, B prime, and D prime, right? So now, again, I have to look for two adjacent ones that are not being covered by the same loop. So I will change the color here. Okay, so these two ones are clearly adjacent and they are not being covered by the same loop. So first one on the left is 0, 0, 1, 0. And the second one, which is on the right, is 0, 1, 1, 0. As you can see, the hazards, they have only one digit difference. So you can see here that only this digit, second digit from the left is different here. Or for example, here that we had this one was different than this one, right? Let's see if we have any other um, hazards happening in the second circuit. So we can see that this one is adjacent to this one, but they're not covered by the same loop. So the one on the left is 0, 0, 0, 0, and the one on the right is 1, 0, 0, 0. All right. Now the question asks us to realize the function in a way that we don't have any hazards. So how can we do that? So again, we have to fill out the Carnot map for the function. So the Carnot map is the same. Okay, now I have to somehow map, um, group these ones in a way that I don't have any two adjacent ones being covered with different loops. Okay, let's see how can we do that. So I can group these two ones. I can group these two, right? Then I can group these two. So they're adjacent and I want them to be covered by the same loop. And then I'm gonna have this guy here and this one here. And I still have this one over here and this one over here being covered by sep um, separate loops. So I'm going to loop them here. So if I want to name these loops, this one is number one, this one is two, three, the vertical one is four, this one is five, and the last one is six. Okay, so let's see if with no hazards. is going to be for loop number one i'm going to have b prime c prime d prime loop number two is a c prime then number three will be b d number four i have a prime b c number five i'm going to have um a prime c d prime and the last one would be A prime, B prime, and D prime. So with this realization of the function, we guarantee that we do not have any hazard in the circuit. Okay? You see that in this last map, we do not have any two ones being adjacent and being covered by separate loops. Right? Okay. So this was part A of this question. So this was part A. Then in part B, it asked us to find an OR AND circuit. Okay, so OR AND means what? Means that I have to deal with the product of sums here. Product of sums. And it asked us to eliminate the hazard. 
okay so you see how so for finding the product of sum I have to deal with zeros right so instead of ones I will just um, deal with the zeros of the same function that I had above in part A so now I have to put the zeros where they should be like right uh, wherever we don't have um, ones right so for example here in this map you can see that these were all zeros okay so I just took the zeros and put them here now I have to map this circuit first I will just write the minimum product of sum and then I have to eliminate the hazard all right so let's see here I can map these two I can map these two this one should be mapped alone and this so this is loop number one number two three and four so since this is the product of sum I'm gonna start with um, f prime so f prime would be equal to loop number one is a b prime c loop number two would be a c um it is a c d prime loop number three is a prime b prime d and loop number four would be a prime b c prime d prime and then if i want to find f f is equal to the complement of this expression over here so using the De Morgan's law, I'm going to have a prime, b, c prime, and a prime, c prime, d, a, b, d prime, and a, b prime, c, d. Okay, so this is my um, product of sums for this circuit. Okay, now I have to find the hazard. So I have to look for two adjacent zeros that are not being grouped with the same loop. And you can clearly see that these two zeros are this one and this one. So here we have a zero hazard. So if I loop these two zeros with the same um, loop, I have to add another expression here in order to eliminate the hazard so in order to eliminate the zero hazard I have to add this loop which is gonna be a actually B prime we don't have a there B prime C D right and then in this De Morgan's law that will become B C prime so this green one is to eliminating the zero hazard that we have all right so i hope you understand this question well if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments down below and see you in the next video thanks for watching